Welcome everyone to my presentation on thermocatalytic conversion of waste plastics into transportation fuel. I'm MD Hafiz Rahman from Department of Mechanical Engineering and working as a graduate student under the supervision of Dr. Prakash Boy. As the background, we already know that current world is facing severe problem with energy crisis. Also, plastic pollution is another big issue that we are facing right now. As per statistics, 79% of world plastic has been accumulated in the landfill up to 2017, and that has created problems like ocean liters and microplastic pollutions. Our team investigated into the plastic pollution and energy crisis and came up with a solution. Waste plastic can be converted into gasoline equivalent transportation fuels using a thermocatalytic conversion system with GSM-5 catalyst. So let's see how the system works. The problem with thermocatalytic conversion using plastic is plastic locks down in the reactor. So we have solved this problem by using a double column reactor. The first column is used to crack down the polymers thermally and that cracked hydrocarbons travel to the second column. Now, the second column, the GSM-5, sees the hydrocarbons further to convert it into lower chain hydrocarbon of gasoline equivalence. Then, those hydrocarbons travel through our system and goes to the condenser, where the condenser converts it into liquid fuels. All time, we ensure the nitrogen rate of 25 milliliter per minute to ensure the inert condition inside the reactor. Now, what is the temperature that we should work with our system? For that, we have analyzed the thermogravimetric analysis of each plastic. That means we used LDPE, we used grocery bags from Walmart, we used PET water bottles, we used compostable bioplastic bags, and we used a mixture. So when we did the thermogravimetric analysis, we can see that the LDPE and most of the plastics convert between 500 degrees Celsius totally, and their maximum portion has been converted from solid state to liquid or gaseous state. From that understanding, we made our pyrolysis at 500 degrees Celsius for all the plastics except the compostable at 410 degrees Celsius from where we have produced the liquid fuels. The liquid fuels were significant for the compostable plastics that was 33% and significant for the grocery bag also at 18%. Now, the quantity was fine, but what about the quality? We analyzed our fuels using calorie meters where we found that all the plastics have 40 megajoule per kilogram or above calorific values, which is really close to the commercial gasoline, which is 43.4 megajoule per kilogram. Also, we analyzed the quality with ZCMS, where we found that the selectivity produced oil offers is above 90% for the gasoline equivalence, that means the C6 to C12 hydrocarbons. And in fact, the for example, the grocery bag produced the hydrocarbons of C9H12 maximum portion, which is equivalent to cumin, and that is used as rating booster for commercial gasoline. So we can conclude that the plastic that we used for this process can be converted into gasoline equivalent fuels, and that will help us to mitigate the problem with plastic pollutions and curb the energy crisis of the current world at the same time. Thank you very much for staying with us.